and we're back. And we're back and I'll put this a little bit further forward for you guys. And we're talking about stretching, a bit of a stretchy, stretchy strew. Now, I have done a video on this before. I'll probably do more videos on this, to be quite honest with you. Sun's a bit bright on the old golfie. Thought I'd get a nice backdrop for you. But uh, I'm gonna intersperse this with uh, some stretches that I usually do. I've streamlined it since the last video. And uh, I thought, hey, you know what, what? What a great way to just showcase some stretches that you could be doing, some basic ones, what they're for, what's helped me, and give you kind of some takeaways around stretching. So, as I've, as I've aforementioned in my other videos, static stretching is something when you're stretched for long periods of time, you want to do away from intense activity or away from your weight training. Ideally, not before, unless you're trying to stretch out an injury or you know you've got a certain muscle that's tight, uh, and that's a way for you to be able to alleviate the symptoms. However. Aside from that, I will do a massage video soon and also a couple of other little bits and pieces too that I think you will enjoy. But fundamentally, about oh, two years ago, I decided to start stretching. I made the commitment to do it. Uh, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done because it's, you know, initially it's mundane. It's almost like journaling. It's something that, yeah, it'll probably help, but we just don't do it. Anyway, so I followed uh, one of my friends, shout out to Smooth Panther Routine, the Nally Professor, and I just thought, hey, I'm just going to stick with this, I'm going to do it every day, and that was when I was starting at EMF, so I had a lot of time on my hands, and it was part of my morning routine. And it took, honestly, I'd say a good six weeks for me to see a significant and a tangible difference. I obviously felt better probably after about four weeks, but initially it was very hard, it was very tough, it was quite... I guess degrading in a way, um, realizing how unflexible I was and immobile to a degree, although I'm not someone who's who's really stiff or, or rigid or you know lacks athletic capabilities, but still it's obviously at the same time I'm not a, I'm not a gymnast, I'm not a contortionist. And you don't have to be. But you know, a lot of us will benefit from it. We often neglect the small things in life, we forget, you know, as we get older to do the stretching routines and all of these little things. So you know, here's a collection of stretches that I do on the regular. Uh, these ones I've picked from these stretching routines that work for me. Uh, I did quite a bit of yoga during this time. I'm not doing a lot at the moment, but I try and get one class in a week. And I'll take certain poses and stretches I like from that and I'll just have them in my routine or I'll just cycle them through based on the way they make me feel. So for me, I find lower back, erectors, quadriceps are really tight. If I keep those in check and lats, they're the things that I find keep my body feeling the best and performing um, at a better level. So you can see here I've got the multiple names for these stretches. I've got like the straddle poses, I've got you know the leg back stretch, I've got like what they, I think they call like downward dog or baby cobra and stuff like that. But ultimately I'm just picking these stretches which move me through a range of motion which feel good and also alleviate muscle tension where I feel it most. And what I want you to take out of this video is that if you just start with something small and you commit to it, it might just be one stretch. It might be one muscle that's tight. You can look them up on YouTube. You can copy some of these here on my channel. Um, you will feel a difference. And it's a really great, great opportunity to, you know, put the AirPods in, catch up on some podcasts. You know, you might be writing a post as well. You might just want to breathe and use it as meditation. I used to put some comedy on as well um, when I was going through big stretching routines just because I like to laugh, it's funny, it's engaging, and it makes you forget about how long you're holding the stretches for. Initially, you might start with 30 seconds, but you want to lead up to two, three minutes. The longer you can hold in these poses, the more flexible you will be, the more you'll get out of them, and the more it will test your willpower and your discipline as well uh, in the mental sector, shall we say. So I think, once again, stretching, very, very underrated. Gotta admit, didn't wanna do it, still have to make the time. These days I'll only do it two to three times a week. It's a very quick routine, but I can stay on top of it. It's like anything, if you get to the point where you know you maintain it, you're on top of it, it's a lot easier to be able to then just keep the body limber, keep the body you know, where it needs to be in conditioned. And you only need to be as flexible as your sport demands, but I believe that most people will benefit from a little bit more stretching and a little bit more mobility. So guys, just a short one this week. Um, thought I'd touch base on that. 
as always, got lots of videos, lots of topics um, for the most part, keeping them on the shorter side for now, apart from the vloggy style ones. Just wanna give you guys snippets of information and insights into what I'm doing and what I've done that has helped me along my journey. If you like the video, of course, give it a like if you want to see something specifically, or of course, you've got something positive to say, give me a comment. Uh, appreciate all the new subscribers. Guys, you're watching this, I can see you're watching this, hit that subscribe button it really does help trust me um it means a lot to us youtubers especially the ones that are growing so if you like the channel make sure you click that subscribe button hit the bell icon so you'll get notifications every week and of course until next week here on the gold coast of australia stay fearless wherever you are in the world Thanks.